a coronial inquest into the apparent domestic violence of a Queensland woman last year, has been told neighbours heard a woman screaming for help and glass smashing on the night of her. Warning, this story contains graphic details that readers may find distressing. Key points. A police officer who was called to the scene before Doreen Langham's said he was learning on the job and would do things differently now. A police officer who was called to the scene before Doreen Langham's said he was learning on the job and would do things differently now three neighbours told the court they heard screaming and crying coming from Ms Langham's unit. Three neighbours told the court they heard screaming and crying coming from Ms Langham's unit A firefighter, who attended the unit said he could smell petrol when he moved Ms Langham's body. Browns Plains woman Doreen Langham, 49, in a unit fire believed to have been deliberately lit by her former partner, Gary Healy, in February last year. He also in the blaze, Last year the Queensland Police Commissioner ordered a review into the police handling of the incident after it was revealed officers had attended the townhouse hours before the fatal fire was lit. Today the coronial inquest at Southport Magistrates Court heard from neighbours and emergency service responders. Neighbour Timothy Brayer said he called 000 in the early hours of February 22 after hearing what sounded like a person being thrown through a glass door and a woman screaming for help. I knew something horrible had happened, he told the court. I heard a voice asking for help in distress, it went quiet for a bit, that's when I heard what sounded like someone walking around and smashing every window. Maybe 30 seconds later I walked out of my room and I could see outside, in the reflection of the unit opposite mine, a unit was on fire. Then I realized I needed to get out and call the police. Police officers at the scene on February 23, 2021. Yelling and screaming. Two other neighbors who lived in separate units up from Mr. Brayer and Ms. Langham said they also heard concerning sounds before the fire broke out. Neighbor Tina DeCorsa described hearing a man's muffled yelling and screaming before hearing a resident yelling for people to get out due to a fire. She ran to the street with her daughter and saw the unit burning. A third neighbor, Michelle Rielli, told the court she was up early to go to work about 3.30 a.m. on the Monday and heard a woman crying in Ms. Langham's unit as she walked to her car. The inquest also heard from numerous responding police, including a then-rookie officer, who had only been working in the job for several months. Constable Mitchell Langford told the inquest he and a fellow officer attended a more urgent Code 2 domestic violence job before responding to the incident involving Ms. Langham. Ms. Langham did not answer the door when police attended. Neighbors told the inquest they heard yelling and the sounds of glass breaking before the fire broke out. Police process questioned. The court heard Ms. Langham, 49, called police on February 21 because she was concerned Mr. Healy, who had a domestic violence order against him, was at her property. Barristers questioned Constable Langford about why he did not look up the history of the alleged offender and whether he had previous DVO breaches to his name before attending the scene. It was suggested that if he had, he would have seen Mr. Healy had four prior breaches. They also questioned how thoroughly the officers checked Ms. Langham's unit to locate her and look for evidence of forced entry upon the visit before leaving to take a meal break at McDonald's. One barrister suggested the pair had treated the job as less important and minor after attending the previous domestic violence incident. The officer agreed they had and admitted he would approach the incident differently now, including checking all possible points of entry to the home, making more effort to locate the Ms. Langham before leaving, and checking the offender's interstate criminal history and outstanding offences. The inquest is being held at the Southport Magistrates Court learning on the job. Constable Langford said he did not know how to conduct such searches at the time, but could have asked a senior officer. He said he was still in the process of learning on the job at the time. The inquest heard the constable had served Mr. Healy with his DVO 12 days before responding to Ms. Langham's call out, but said he did not realize that or recognize the name at the time. Police body camera footage was played to the court of Constable Langford serving Mr. Healy at a South Brisbane police station in early February. 
It showed Mr. Healy saying he was shocked by the order and had known Ms. Langham for 33 years. She's my sister's best friend, he told Constable Langford. There's no reason for the DVO, there's never been any violence. She's never had any reason to be in fear. I'm happy well I'm not happy, because I love her, but now we need to go our own way. Firefighter Benjamin Hamilton was another first responder called to give evidence at the inquest today and detailed being one of the first to see two people's deceased bodies inside the unit. Mr. Hamilton said he distinctly recalled smelling petrol fumes when he lifted what he understood to be Ms. Langham's body. The inquest continues on Wednesday and is due to finish on Friday.